Yes, indeed. What? Good morning. It is still morning. Early morning, 11 o'clock. How are you all? I hope you're well. Well, I wasn't meant to be down. This was meant to be our Catherine, but I thought, no, I want a little go of this. I love it when our Paul and our Barbara are in the building. Well, they're not here. There's nothing happens, guys. We should be on later. She's doing another show. Uh, but she's still here. She's just doing the later hour. But I thought, I want to do a bit of Pergamano. I love it when our Paul and Barbara are in doing their Pergamano. No doubt they'll be watching from home as well. So good morning, Barbara. Good morning, Paul. Uh, and everyone in the, in the wonderful world of Clarity and Pergamano. But now, our Linda Williams, she'll be watching as well because we've got a brand new plate from Linda Williams as well. Now, if you've never used the Groovy Plate system, we're going to take you as it, we'll, we'll guide you through the journey through the hour. But let's look at the plate first. Look how beautiful the plate is. This is stunning. It's loads of elements in there. There's loads. This is what I like about the world of Groovy. For the Groovy plates that you may already have, this is an add-on. If you're just starting, and I'll use Barbara's term, and I'm sure she won't mind me using it. If you're just starting your journey with Barbara and, and the Groovy Plate system, this is a perfect way to start as well. You're not missing out on anything by going here either. You are getting things like beautiful borders that you've got in here. Let me take that full plate out so you can actually see. So you're getting the beautiful border. You get that beautiful summer house that's down there. You get the picnic blanket and also you get the umbrella and you get the tree in there as well. But let me show you some of the stuff you can create. So just picking out the elements. This is not using all the elements. This is just using that beautiful picnic basket, the blanket that's there, the parasol. And this is perfect. Look how beautiful that is. But then you go to the opposite end of the scale. That's by our Maggie as well. Uh, this is by uh, Linda. And she's just used the tree and the foliage. So if I move that way, well, you can see the tree in the corner there, and that is the tree. You can add your own elements to these. Now, they, there's lemons on the tree, but you could perfectly make those into apples if you wanted to as well. Uh, our Josie, look at these. These are beautiful. Now, if you've never used the groovy plate system before, do not worry. It's very simple. If you can hold a pen and you can trace, you can now use the groovy system. So this one has just used the beautiful summer house that you've got on there. If I move it that way, you can see. But you're thinking, where's this chair? Where's this chair come from? I've not seen the chair. Now, that's in a collection that we bought to you last time that we've also got on the show as well. We will have a look at these. But as I say, everything works beautifully hand in hand. You can really go to them. There are so many samples here. Thank you so much for all these beautiful finished samples that we've got. Uh, look at that. The depth and the detail that you're getting with here. And you get this plate for £10 and 99 pence. And nearly 20% of the stock has now already gone. Uh, check out your baskets. Can I, have, can I just quickly show one more? Oh, it's just for the sheer fact. Look at this. But it all works. So you can open doors if you want to as well. Let me. Ooh, ooh. There we go. Look. So you've got all the tools in the sheds that's in there as well, if you wanted to. Uh, you've got lemons on the tree as well, if you want. So they are absolutely stunning. There is so much that you could use these for. £10.99 if you're starting your groovy journey today. It's the best way to start. If you are starting your groovy journey, though, I jump to the website because you might need the starter kit. We'll go through more details as the show goes on, don't worry. We've also got beautiful VTs uh, from Barbara herself on the show. Uh, but not only have we got this place by Linda Williams, we've also got the bundle as well. Now, this has been on before, but you might not have seen it before. So let's go through with it. Um, you might you might need this as well as your new additions as well. This is In the Garden, once again, by Linda Williams. And what I'm going to do, the plates are beautiful to see, but I'm going to show you what they actually look like when they're just traced out. So this is take your plate and trace what you see. There are beautiful elements. You've got the steps in there. You've got the bunting and the window. You've also got the chair that you see here with the table as well. So you could use that with that brand new plate today. Just take the chair out. Because remember, you can, you're can you in charge of your own scene. From there, we've got the two deck chairs. Now, these could be the deck chairs that are looking onto that beautiful summer house if you wanted it to as well. You've got the fountain. You've got the foliage that go all around the background. These are stunning. Then we go into sort of the oriental garden. You've got your lanterns. You've got the picket fence that you could continue either side of that Lin Linda Williams cottage that we saw as well. 
in that first, uh, the brand new groovy plate that we've got on the show. Uh, you also get your sentiments in there as well. Not only do we have these, uh, now we've got the sort of garden shed. The shed that we all dream of at the bottom of the garden. I'd love a shed like this at the bottom of my garden. Um, absolutely love it. That little potting shed that we all know and love with the wheelbarrows and a little bit of grass and your veggie patch that's in here as well. Once again, these have literally been taken straight from the plate, straight on. So this is, there's no messing with these. This is actually what you are getting just traced out then you get the greenhouse now you get the greenhouse and all the foliage so maybe you just want the foliage across the top of something else maybe you maybe you use the shed from this one with the foliage from the next one you can do this you are in charge of your own story and then you get the hammock oh i love the hammock oh enjoy peaceful moments on your hammock you have your little hats and your little willow trees that are drooping down as well. The stories are elements. What we can see from what we so let me break this down for you. You get the plates, but you can create your own story. Where you end up is entirely up to you. You can go simple and you can go easy or you can go to town. You know what I mean? You can really feel your boots. So once again, You've got the beautiful papers that we've got on here, and then you've got the beautiful parchment and vellum that we're talking about. And uh, once again, just trace out with the colours underneath. We've got the pens on the show as well, and also your pencils that you might need. But look at the details that you can get. Uh, for, from that though, how different does this look? Now, that, obviously that one's on clear, and now we're talking about stepping that journey up again, getting, getting back on the bus as it were, and getting off at another stop. Your next stop might be just changing the colour of your vellum and your parchment in the background. That might be one step, just, just take you out of your comfort zone. And once you're out of that comfort zone then, maybe you just pick smaller elements that you've got. So you just pick one of the trees that's on there and you just work with that. Then maybe you take it to the next level. You take your hammocks, but you don't use the trees that were on that plate. You use something else that was in some, one of your other collections with beautiful rainbows going over the top and just some of the, some of the potting elements. But then same plate, different design just by changing the colours. Once again, same plate, different design again. You see what I mean? Anyone can do this. You can be creating these at home with what you're getting. With your new plate that we've just seen, and then we've got your complete collection, £29.97 across two flexible payments is what we're talking about here as well. And nearly 20% of this has already gone as well. But it's all right me standing here on my own talking about it, but I'm now gonna hand you over to a legend. I can't say it when she's here, I get all embarrassed, but she is a legend. She's one person that I look up to and her work is amazing. I'm gonna hand you over now to the one and only, Dame, let's call her Dame, Dame Barbara Gray. Hello, how are you today? I hope you're safe and happy. I've got a beautiful sample, a beautiful piece of artwork by the lovely Linda Williams, which, uh, which I'm going to uh, take you through today. It's absolutely glorious, let me show it to you. How about that, look, and how appropriate. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. This is using that beautiful plate that Linda designed, and I thought it would be a good idea if the first thing we do is actually look at all the assets on the plate. There are so many little things, and it's only when you start looking at it that you really see. And if we look at the artwork, you can see here, let's just compare, for example, um, the little basket here. You see the little hamper? Well, here it is over here. And then, for example, we've got these flowers here, and what Linda's done is she's done a pair of them over here. And then, of course, we've got this little fella, look at the little cat, the little moggy. There he is there. So she's put him there. And then she's taken the pillows and she's put all the pillows around him too. So it's one of the loveliest things about groovy art is, of course, that you can, you can overlap and you can mix and match. So what I wanted to show you, though, was something else very, very clever that Linda's done here. If we, if we look at the actual artwork, you'll be able to see it much better. If I slide a piece of paper in here without damaging the card, let me just take something to lift this up for you. And you'll see, as I slide this through, let me just get that in there like that. There you go. Now you can see exactly what Linda's done. So let's take a look at this. 
um, she's taken a frame, which I'm going to show you, but she's taken the lemon tree here and she's made it part of that frame. Isn't that beautiful? So I want to show you, the first thing I want to show you today, we're going to use this gorgeous card and we're going to use it as a vehicle for the, the whole two hours. And I'm going to show you loads of different tricks and tips. Um, for example, if you look at the lemons, they're stippling, um, how to freehand emboss on the outside. But let's get started by showing you how to integrate the lemon tree into the frame. Right, so where did we find the frame? That's the first thing we want to look at. We've got two different frames. These are fantastic, really. So you can see these are the alphabets. And you'll know, of course, that this is where Linda found when life gives you lemons, you see, because you can actually spell whatever you fancy. Let's look at it from the front. The frame that she's used is clearly the one with the larger alphabet, the larger frame. So you can see here, these are these set here. So let's get started. And I want to show you, I mean, this is a real, real straightforward, but I think if we deconstruct it, you'll understand better. Now, if we take, for example, this outer frame, you can see here, the first thing we've got to do is make this outside edge, right? So let's have a look. Let's do this. Let's just talk you through this bit, the simple bit, so we can get to the juicy bit. I'll put that over there. And we're going to use this frame. All right, let's have a look. So when we open this up, you see, this is, um, this is a, a brilliant plate, mate, and you know that it will hold this big plate. And then what we're going to do is take a piece of A4 parchment, and we're going to lay that down on there like so. We're going to use groovy tabs. Let me just get my groovy tabs. We're going to lay, we're going to secure with groovy tabs. This is for the newcomer, for the person who has never seen this before. You're going to secure with groovy tabs, like so. Then you're going to rub with a tumble dryer sheet, like so. And then you're going to take a number one tool, a number one tool from the starter kit, or let me just find it for you, a number one tool from um, Pergamano. There we go. This is a number one tool as well. So either one of those tools. And then you're going to get in the groove and you're just going to outline the outer edge. Right? Don't worry about the inside yet because we want to integrate the tree, don't we? So this is a bit tricky, but actually, once you think it through or you see how it's done, it's, 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 it's actually quite doable. The trick is to make a template. See, so now, here we go. What we've done is we've created a template. And what that will do is that will give you, it's good because it will give you an indication of where the, um, the lemon tree's got to sit. So let's just take that out of the way. Let's pretend we've made our, we've got our template. Look, Linda's even written template on it, just in case I didn't realise. Thanks, Linda. And then we've got this area here. So what we need now is to go to our plate, because now we're going to introduce our lemon tree. Right, let's turn that over. And we, what we need to do now is use our groovy plate mate for the A5 plates, so, that, so we've got something to, to attach it to. So let's take that now. Right. And then what we're going to do is take this and put it over the top of there. So this is going to be our template. Okay. And we're going to see exactly, like if I come down now, I can see exactly, for example, where the, plate's going to, where the plate is going to sit. You see? Because I've got this here. And I can see now where the tree is. I can see through here. Sorry if you can't, but I've got, I've got a pretty good idea where the tree is located here. You see? So the idea is when I take that away, I know now I'm going to secure this in place with some groovy tabs like that. And then I know where the tree is going to go. And that's how I position my tree. But before we do that, let me just backpedal a little bit, because before we do that, I want to, you see here, we've already got one of the flowers there, and then 
There's only one flower in the picture, but that doesn't mean that we can't add a second flower. So I can add as many flowers as I like here, can't I? So let's just chill for a minute. Let's regroup and let's just add a little flower. So tumble dryer sheet, just so that it's got a little bit more slick in the groove. And then in we go. Now, I'm using the number one tool. So I just go round and round like so, you see. And then this is how we get that beautiful, crisp, sharp edge. If I wanted to do some embossing, in other words, some white work, then what I would do is flip this tool and I would use the softer side, you see? And then that way, it will be easier to do white work. So that's just a little tip. It's something worth bearing in mind whenever you do this work. So you can whistle through here and you can use uh, the number one or the number two tool, depending on whether you're going to do white work. Some people just prefer a softer edge. It's, it's entirely up to you. So let's pretend we've done that. Then we'll lift that up. And then, for example, we can look for the little basket. See, now here's another little. This is lovely. You just take the basket, you put it where you like. And again, we're just going to add a little bit of slick. And then off we go again. So you can see here how quickly and how easily you can use these plates. One of the other things is, of course, the other garden plates. This is just another one to add to the collection that we launched a couple of weeks ago, which it, they all mix and match so beautifully. And Linda and I got our heads together, put our heads together, and she said, well, what would you like now? And I said, you know, a little Wendy house would be beautiful, a little picnic. A um, little picnic blanket and a, and lo and behold, hey presto, Linda got us a, a little picnic blanket and a parasol and a Wendy house, which is really, really lovely. So let's pretend we've done that. We've done that. Now we're going to position our, we're going to position our um, tree and we know exactly where it's going to go. So let's just pop that down like so. Right. Because... It, my template tells me where it's going to be, you see, in here and here. So I've got to put the tree in place. So I'll ignore, I'll ignore everything except the tree. Now the only, the interesting thing here is that you'll see, if we look at the actual picture, you'll see that the, the parasol on the plate is in front of the tree. On the picture, it's not, it's behind. Look, it's in the background, it's on the background piece. So what we're gonna do there is let's, let's just pretend we've done all this and then we're coming down here and we're embossing our tree here on this side, right? When we get to the flowers, we stop, don't we? But here, let's pretend we've done all the leaves. Don't worry, I've got one we did earlier. Right, and then when we get to here, we're not gonna, we're not going to use the parasol here. So what we'll do is we'll lift this up and then I'll just move it over like so. Look. And then I'll just use the side of the tree from the other side. And that's what gives me that side of the tree. And you'll see when we, when we look at this, you'll see exactly that's what Linda's done as well. So that's, that's how we end up with that. Fast forwarding now, what we've got is we've got this... We've done all this and you'll notice that we can add a little bit more out here. We can add a bit of lemon into the frame once we get the words in. So let's just close up the inner frame. And what we need to do there is go back to our, our um, nested frame. So let's go back to this and then we come in here. And we'll just line this up, right, and then we'll just finish this off because at that point we can move on to the next thing. But let me just finish this off quickly. There's nothing quick about parchment art, is there? This is one of the most relaxing, mindful things to do, especially with the groovy plate. So what we're going to do now is just add that inner frame. And the whole purpose of this is to show you how you can, you can integrate um, 
a tree into a frame. See, so you do the you do the tree first with a template, and now I'm just coming round. And as soon as I I hit the tree, I stop. You see, and I come round here. Oh, if you jump out, it doesn't matter because of course it only it only gets embossed where there's a groove. So we come round here. I'm using the groovy guard. This is really well worth investing in because it holds the parchment steady while I'm doing this look. And then when I get to the leaves, I stop. And if I haven't done all the leaves that I want to, just stop at the corner, do your leaves and then marry it up. See, but you'll see now when we look, let's have a look. What we've done is we've taken the lemon tree from that lovely plate. Have a look at it. Right, hold on a minute. Let's get rid of this. Well, it's all going, it? Right, take that, take that. And what you'll see now is you've we've done the first part. We've got the lemon tree out of here and we've integrated it into the frame. And when you look at Linda's beautiful piece here, you'll see that we're, we're already, we're moving towards it now because this, all this here is the frame. Look, you see, this is, this is all going to get cut out and then this bit is in the background. So there you go. Amazing. And when we come back together again, I'll show you how to use the template to make these very appropriate words. Part one, part one over, st to be continued, as it were. Oh, it's like a trilogy. There's three. I've got another. I've got another two to show you. I've got another two. Oh yes, we're going to we're going to go all the way. We're going to do a full demo. Is what we're going to do, like we normally do in all of our clarity shows as well. Right, the plate that our Barbara was using was the Lemon Tree Garden. Brand new today, never been seen before. Uh, I'm going to go for a world launch. Uh, it is brand new, never been seen before. But look at the detail that you're getting in there. Look at the these different elements. It'd be quite easy, Barbara and Mahapal, to put all these elements on this plate, but join them all up. So you couldn't really use them as separate items, but they don't. And that's the wonders of Pergamona. That is the wonder of the groovy plate system. What we like about these is you can use them individual elements. You can take an element from this, pop it with another element of another groovy plate that you've already got, or just use the one element. But we are approaching 50% of the stock here has now already gone. Uh, we are back at three o'clock. Will we have anything left? This is the question. Um, let me show you some of the finished samples that we can use here as well. So things like this, this is done by uh, our Jane. It's beautiful on your retirement. It's a beautiful retirement card. But as you can see, you've also got the little cat. You've got the little cat in the cabin as well that you can also pop in through those windows. You can open that window and use it as a shed. You could put one of the chairs in there from another set if you wanted to as well. But not only can you go from retirement, but then with the same cabin or little Wendy house, you can turn it into a tiny little working shed. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. You not only could this be a shed, this could be a Wendy house for a child's card if you wanted it to. It reminds me, especially the images like this for that one lonesome tree in that cabin. You could use it as like a little, like a little uh, beach hut as well. If you change the style and change what you see there, change the scenery in the background, you could use it as a beach hut as well. Or maybe you just keep it all one colour. Now this is obviously the Wendy house from that brand new plate that we're looking at at the moment, the lemon tree, lemon tree garden, and then the other elements for in the garden. So that is the oriental garden that we saw earlier as well. But then you can change it totally and just take the wings. Now can you see what element this is from? Because there's no wings on that plate. It's the umbrella. If I turn it that way, that is the parasol that you're looking at at the moment. There's the parasol being used, but we've also turned it as wings as well. And the lemons that go all the way around the edge are from the lemon tree. You see? Take small elements and make them your own. Now, I know what, you, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, this is all well and good, but... I, how am I going to get to that stage? Start small. 
baby steps. Now to do baby sets, you're gonna also need the tabs and guards as well. Now you saw Barbara using this throughout, the, uh, throughout her demonstration. So what happens is, if this is the plate that comes, this is the calligraphy mate that we're talking about now, but from the calligraphy mate, the outer edge comes out. So now you've got this clear hole here. You've still got your plate if you want it, your plate is there, but then you pop in your lemon tree will pop in straight into there and then it's not going to wiggle or jiggle and it's going to stay where it is and you can use and then you use your groovy tabs and away you go. Worth picking it up if you're brand new to the world. Uh, it's worth picking up as well. Or if you've never had the A5 plates before, that's what you need as well. As I keep saying, it is a journey that we're going to look on. Um, if you're liking this one, and you are, 50% of the stock has already gone here, you might want to go for the bigger bundle as well. Now, we've got also the bigger bundle on the show. This is the bigger bundle that we're looking at. Now, there's so many elements that we are looking at here. The elements that you're looking at are, well, they're all garden themed as it were, but it's different aspects and different parts of the garden. Now, not only do you get the garden plants, but once again, you can use all the elements that you see here in different ways. And you are getting six of the plates, six plates for £29.97 across two flexible payments. You're saving six pounds on this as well. It is, it is beautiful. They are beautiful, beautiful plates and you can do so much with them when you get them home. 798135 is your item number. Um, as you can see, let me just show you some of the samples that we've got. So take a look at this one just here. Okay, so that, that beautiful hammock that we've got. Then you can take your hammock that's here as well. So if I bring your hammock plate in and hold it against my shirt, so there's your hammock itself, but we've just used the hammock and a bit of the shrubbery from around the top. It is beautiful how it comes together. And I said, you create your own story. You're the storyteller. You can do whatever you want with these plates. Just change the color of your parchment in the background and you're good to go as well. Look at that for a new element. It colours it for you. Now over the next two episodes with Barbara we'll be learning the white work and how to colour as well. But just changing the background scenery. These were plates that we've brought to you in the past as well. But maybe you only take smaller elements. So you take the willow tree. You take the smaller elements from the garden and pop them in. Absolutely Stunning work. Two flexible payments of £29.97. 798135 is your item number for that complete collection. Um, remember, if you're going, if you're going for the, uh, the brand new plate, as it were, uh, put it on your flexible payments as well. If you pop everything into your basket, it will also be on to your two flexible payments. Right then, are you sitting comfortably? Because now it's time for episode two with the one and only Barbara Gray. Okay, next step. Let's have a look at how to put the words in. Now to do this, we definitely need a template. By template, what I mean is that we actually write it out on a piece that we can then overlay so that we can position it exactly. The best way to make a template is like this. We're gonna use that fabulous plate, uh, the frame plate, and you'll see that I've already taken a pencil and uh, a ruler and, and I've made a, a pencil marker. Let's call this the front, right? So let's call that the front. So now I'll turn it over and then I've got to write backwards. Now, me personally, I would always recommend that if you want to write something, then you write it here. Like uh, if we're going to write joyful, let's pretend we're going to write joyful instead of, you know, when, God, when life gives you lemons. But let's write joyful just by way of example, it's shorter. So then I'm going to turn this over. Let me make sure that I'm on the right side. Yeah. So let me just see what side I put the pencil on. Right. So that's the front. So we're on that side. So what I'm going to do now is just wipe my template with a tumble dryer sheet. And I'll use my number one tool. And for example, I want to write joyful. So I've written it on a scrap of paper. And I know that it... I've got J's first. So it's always a good idea to write out what it is you want to say. See how the line, the white line, helps me? Then I'll go in there and then I'll put J -o -y joy. See? And so this is how you, and you use the white line 
as orientation. So there you see I'm running it along the rest of the plate and then when I turn it round I can see exactly where I'm going. Joyful, good word. There we are. So in this way you can position it exactly and if you're not completely happy with the spacing then you can always adjust it when you go to your original piece. So now when we turn it over there we have joyful. You see it's, it's written in there. So my point is that you can write absolutely anything you want with an alphabet. Of course you can. So there we go. That's how to, how to make a template. Linda's kindly made one for us and I'll show you now how we're going to add the words to the actual um, frame. So we're going to turn this over and we're going to, so we, we can see exactly where we want it to be, can't we? So I'll put it to the back like so and I can see exactly where it's going to be, okay? Then I'll turn it over. Let me just, I need a black behind, I need a black marker. There you go. So the best thing to do is take your groovy, look I've got an idea, why don't we do this? Take a groovy tab, take two groovy tabs, there you go, like so, All right, that'll work. Right, and then we'll turn it over, let me think for a minute, that's it, turn it over and I can see exactly what it's supposed to look like now, right, there we are. So I'll pop that in there like so and I can see exactly where I'm placing it, sorry I'm, I'm making the right pig's ear with this, but I think you get it, there you go, look. So now it's in exactly the right place and I'll pop the tag down like so. And now when I turn it over, just to check, I can see that when life gives you lemons it's in exactly the right place, that's where I want it, isn't it? So then I'll turn it over like so and I've got my, my big frame like that. And then I'm going to start and I'm going to look for my W. So there's my W like there, all right? I'll lay that down like so, and I'm going to lift this up. I know that the W is in the right place because that's where I decided it, I wanted it to be. Then I'll lift this over and I'll pop my W in and I know that it's going to be in the right place. There you go. So that's right. Then when I turn it back, put it back down again, hang on me, I've got to do plates move. There you go. Pop that back down there again. Let me just get that stuck down. Okay, so I've got me W in place. Right, then I'll lift the whole thing up and then I'll move over to wherever the H is, just like I did when I was doing the thing, H. Then I'll lift this up again. Take your time with this, you see. So now I know that my H is in the right place. Let me just make sure. Yeah, that's good enough. Right, and then my H is in the right place because you don't want to spoil it, do you? Right, and then you just work your way along. So now, w, h, e. So here we go. So now I'm going to go to my E. And to be honest, at this point, right, you've pretty much, you're home and dry because you can see now where you're going, right? So you just got to make sure that you don't drift too far away from your template. And then you just keep laying it back down to make sure you're in the right place, right? Let's turn it over and make sure. Oh yeah, this is going to work, you see? So I've got it in the right place and I've got my template in the right place like that. Just make sure that it, it stays in the right place, you know? Because this is quite a long expression, you see? And that's how it works. So you just keep moving through the letters then, and you move through the alphabet and you move. The fantastic thing about this is that you can see exactly what you're doing through parchment. There you go. So now I've got my N. I'll just, I'll finish on the when. There we are. Maybe just do the L. H-I-J-K-L. There's life. There you go. And then you just lift up like that and you know that it's going to be in the right place. So the template is just a really great way to ensure that your lettering, whatever you choose to say, is going to be in exactly the right place. And that is, uh, is all I need to say on that subject. So, thank you.
It is indeed. You need, you need to say no more, Barbara. Say no more. Uh, we're using the alphabet. We're going to show you uh, the, the details are on the screen for what Barbara's just been using. 826978 is your item number. 24 pounds and 98 pence. You're saving five pounds. Um, there's also phone, the queues on the phone lines as well is what we've got. Uh, let's have a little look. Can we have a, look, a little look at those two plates that we were using? There's the two plates. You're getting both of them as well for 24 pounds and 98 pence, which are amazing. Uh, you get so much in there and you get all the outer edges as well. Uh, you Merry Christmas you also get your happy birthdays uh, but the sentiments that you're going to use day in to day out what we're using so lemon tree lemon tree is it, it's beautiful it's a brand new plate launched today launched 35 minutes ago is when it launched and look at the beautiful details and the other elements that are in here as well is what I like to look at but if you've bought the in the garden collection you can now really mix and match with that in the garden. So I just want to show you, I just want to show you one sample. I want to show you this. Now that looks like a painting. But that is taking the picnic blanket, the basket in the tree, and then the, that deck chair is from the larger collection that we've also got on the show. Look how beautiful this is. Where of the plate on its own, nearly two thirds of the stock now has now already gone. This is the first live hour of two. There's one this afternoon at three o'clock as well. Um, now, someone is asking if this, if it comes with the bundle. It does not. The bundle is separate. This is the brand new plate on its own today for ten pounds and ninety-nine pence. You can still go for the larger bundle as well. I think that if you want to see more demonstrations on the larger bundle, uh, I think they'll still be on rewind on uh, the website if you look back i think it was myself and barbara did it a few weeks back uh, with paul as well but this is the brand new plate today the brand new groovy plate a5 uh, by linda williams an amazing amazing designer uh, barbara asks what she wants and she creates these stunning plates and beautiful worlds that you can really lose yourself in 224900 is your item number 10 pounds and 99 pence so this is your linda williams this is your brand new plate but if you're thinking well, I want the new plate. I also, I'd also like that larger bundle as well. We can also do that. It's a separate item number. Now, when I talk about separate item numbers, uh, 798 135 798 135 is your item number. Uh, 29 pounds and 97 pence across two flexible payments. Now, what you also get in here as well that we've not spoke about yet is you get full instructions. Now, normally you don't need instructions because it's quite a simple system. You just follow the groove. Stay in the groove. You can't go wrong. But with the details that you've got here, you can then, unfortunately I haven't got the samples to show you, but you can then put the vineries into the greenhouse. So the greenhouse is this one down here. You can then put the tomatoes and the cherries, all that's in there, really give it some more depth and more storytelling into your pieces of work, into your artwork, because they really are pieces of art. Um, you're getting all six plates as well for £29.97 across two flexible payments. Once again, designed by the amazing Linda Williams. Absolutely phenomenal at what she does. She really, really is. Uh, let me show you what they look like when they're just, just traced out. So take the plate, pop it in your guard and just trace it out. It's as simple and easy as that. This is your first step to the world of Groovy. This is what you will do the minute you get them home. This is what you're going to create straight away. So you can create beautiful imagery that looks a little bit like this. Your next step will obviously, well, we might be, be your white work that's in there. Now, we've got no white work on these because, as I said, we've just literally just traced them all out. I say we, I haven't. Um, I think it was Apple. Uh, it's just traced them out to how the plates will look when you get them home. That was that debt chair from that finished sample I showed you earlier as well. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Um, so these are what they look like. But then your next step of the journey is to take it that one step further. So then maybe start using colour parchment. So that's your next step. Get back on that bus and use a different colour parchment. There you go. You're done. And get off again. I love the bus analogy because it sums it all up. And Barbara uses it all the time, but it does. It really does work it and it really does make sense um 40 percent of this bundle now has already gone as well 29 pounds 97 pence across two flexible payments obviously when you get back on that bus oh i know there's a lot of buses and um, they all come at once uh, when you get back on that you can go to another you can go wherever you want go wherever you want you can, there's no there's no stopping you can color you can start snipping into it but then we've also got the click free alphabet as well and um, this is my, where you may start now let me show you 
it comes to you like this. But what we can do is we can then take that plate out of the middle. So if I take one from the garden, without mucking everything up, this will then fit your, obviously you will have it flat on the table so it will fit in perfectly, uh, then fits your A5 plate straight in. So there's none of that wobbling about. Uh, so you know you're going to be perfect every single time. If I move it over there, it's easier to see. Uh, you know it's going to be perfect every single time. And then you can use your groovy guard and use your groovy tabs, staple everything down, put your parsons on top, and you are good to go. You are going to need this. This is It is a staple. It is the... It is part of yourself. It's one of these things that you're going to need. Um, it's just going to start in the world of Groovy as well. £19.99. It's your alphabets on there as well, in uppercase and lowercase. And it also fits your A5 plates as well. 320411 is your item number. Right then, 20 to the hour. I think it's time for another instalment. Sit back, relax, and let Barbara take it away. Next thing, colour. We've added our words, when life gives you lemon, make lemonade. Perfect. Now we want to, let's colour in the lemons. Let's show you how to do some dorsing and let's do a bit of stippling as well. So we're going for it here. First of all, let's turn over to the back of the parchment and let's just show you how to do a bit of dorsing, how to get a really smooth colour over a larger area like this. So let me take, for example, a green pencil you can use pergoliners, you can use um, polychromos, maybe you want to add a little bit of yellow so that it's not so uh, dark. Right, and then what we're going to do is take some dorso oil, right, and we'll, this is going to really smooth it out nicely. So we put a little tiny bit on a spot on sponge like that, and then we're going to take our, our tissue, let's take a tissue, so there you go, so open it up. Go like that, go like that, and then we'll make a little wedge like so. And then this is what I'm going to use. Don't want too much. Oh, that's nice on the hands. Right, and then what we'll do is we'll just start, when you smooth it over, you'll see it really smooths out. Look, little circular motions like this, and it smooths out the oil. Look, look what the oil does. Isn't that a brilliant? There you go, look at that. How smooth it makes it. And when you when you put that now on there, you'll see it's just glorious, right? So when you turn it over, that's how you can get large areas um, colored in really beautifully. It's called dorsing. There you go. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you. What's also cool is we can use our, let me show you these. So these are good. These are called, uh, Perga Colours exclusive. They're like felt tip pens. Very, very good. Double ended. Let me show you. Um, you've got a bullet end, and then you've also got at the other end, you've got a really fine. Well. So these are great as well. If you look at the lemons on the tree, if you look at the original artwork now, what you'll see is we're working from behind, and all we want to do is just add a little bit of yellow. Look, it doesn't get easier than that. Right, so you can add a little bit of yellow to the lemons. Just work your way, just decide what's a lemon and what's a leaf. Okay, and then if you want to get into the really tight areas, then you can use the, the, the this is really good. These, are, I, I really, really uh, recommend these. They, they work beautifully, um, the, the tight end. And then also, like here, this is a little bit tighter on the flowers. I'm using an orange color then maybe I'll use the other end, the super fine end. And you'll find, unlike a lot of pens like this that have got a super fine end, these just keep going. They're very, very impressed. I'm impressed with these. Now, as far as the leaves go, let me just take a, let me just take the leaves. And again, I'm working from behind the whole time. But you can see, because we're working from the back, we can just add some colour to the leaves. So you could do the whole thing, clearly. When we turn it, see I'm going to block this only because it's yeah, just a little bit. But you'll see when I turn it over, if I put this behind there, you can see it really comes to life. So, so that's how you colour in. What I also wanted to show you, now let's see if, my, um, if I can do this. If I move to another camera, 
then you may be able to, let's see if I can show you, if you look at the, the lemons, what you should be able to see here is that the lemons are stippled. Can you see that? Do you see the little white detail on the lemons? This is called stippling. So they've been coloured in, just as I showed you, with a little, da a little dash of yellow and then a little bit of darkness at the top, right? So let's go back to where we were. And what we're going to do now is just stipple these. Now to do that, what I need is a bit of card that I've just coloured in like this. And we're going to do this from, if you have a look, we'll do this from the back. So we'll turn it over like so. And then we'll lay this on there like that. Let's do the ones that haven't been done yet. And then you're going to take a one needle tool, just a one needle tool. And then what we'll do is we'll just start, see if you can see this okay. We're just going to start just stippling, you see? And as you do this, you'll see when you go into the, let's just do a couple up here so you can see it more. Right, like that. And then when you turn it over, you'll see, let me get to the other camera and you'll get it. Let me see if I can show you this. You can see then, let me just get the focus on it. Can you see the little white marks there? You see? I mean, that's on the black piece, but it just is to show you how you can get the amazing texture just with a one needle tool, how you can get the, um, the amazing texture on, uh, on something as simple as a lemon. So, so again, that shows you, one, how to do that loads of colour, like smooth dorsing, how to get more detail colour, so you use the pencils there, then you use the felt tip pens, the, the Herga colours to get in the detail, and then you can use um, a one needle tool to stipple from behind, or hang on a minute, yeah, from behind, and then you get that fantastic, that fantastic detail. The, it's definitely worth trying. So, thank you. It is indeed, isn't it? I was just watching that little VT there. I get engrossed. I get engrossed to this sort of stuff. I think it's absolutely amazing how you start from a white piece of parchment and then you turn it into this beautiful scene. Uh, right then, the plate though. The plate we were looking at, Barbara's covered everything then, from colouring to to every to groovy plates. Uh, Linda Williams is what we're looking at. It's the, uh, well, we're not looking at Linda Williams. We're looking at the lemon tree garden is what we're looking at here with that beautiful little Wendy house or little summer house with picnic blanket and a, a parasol with beautiful lemon tree that sits in the corner. Uh, nearly 80% now of this brand new today uh, groovy plate has now gone. 384243 is your item number. £10 and 99 pence just look at what you can create there is so many things here that you can do once you get this home maybe you just use smaller elements really literally maybe you just only use the tree and the parasol if you wanted to and you, you don't, haven't got to color it in just leave it white and you can change what says in that sign where it says lemon tree garden that you can see just at the bottom just here you can change that to say whatever you want so it could say, relax. You could even use the brollies on their own. How beautiful does that look once again? And then from the brollies, those two brollies that are there, you can then turn them into butterfly wings with the lemons from the tree that go around the edge. These samples just go on and on and on, but they work. They go hand in hand together. You haven't got to think about this. If you jump out of the groove, don't worry, it won't mark it. Just get back into the groove and off you go again. So simple and so easy to do. And you will also be transported to that beautiful lemon tree garden. 384243 is your item number, £10.99. But nearly 80% now of the stock has already gone. If you're liking this one, though, you might also like the full garden bundle as well. These are coordinating dies that go hand in hand, work as a partnership, work as a tag team, as it were, uh, with the dies with the brand new. Now, you don't get 
the lemon garden with this, but you can add it to the flexible buy if you want to. And um, that was because obviously you've got a flexible basket. So it'd be two payments of five pounds and 50 pence if you're putting that brand new plate into this bundle as well. 29 pounds and 97 pence across two flexible payments. Now, don't let me poke or prod you in ways you don't want to be poked and prodded. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here to get you the best possible deal. But nearly half the stock of this has already gone. What are you getting? You're getting six groove plates. I want to say, now I, I might be, I might be, I might have been gone astray on this. I think you pay for five and you're getting one for free or one for half price. I'm sure that's what I said last time. I don't know, but it is one of those deals where it is A5 plates. They're normally 10.99 on their own. So it does work, it does work out. Yeah, so it's about, you get one half price and saving 50p still. So you're still saving. So you are getting one of these half price as well. So you're paying for five, getting one at a half price as well for £29.97 across two flexible payments. 798135 is your item number. Now remember you can use all the different elements that you see in here as well. There is so many elements on these. I love the way that this is just in the background and all this is forward. It's absolutely stunning. But then remember, you can mix and match. So now you can take the beautiful deck chair, that beautiful deck chair that we've got just here, and add it with that brand new plate that we've got with the picnic basket and that beautiful lemon tree as well. You can use the chairs on their own as well if you wanted to. So just using the smaller elements that's in there with those beautiful sentiments. Just using things like your garden gates. It's the small elements that I love. These are also on the website. The ovals are on the website as well. Um, summer, spring, autumn, and winter, I'm going to say. Uh, designed by Barbara herself. They are beautiful. Uh, then you've got little, like, little, little, little willow trees. The possibilities are endless. These will work with all the groovy plates that you've already got at home. Uh, check out the website if you've never joined the world of groovy. It's, in my eyes, it's very therapeutic. It's different for everyone, but I find it quite therapeutic to sit and watch as well. Uh, three o'clock is when we've got another show as well with more demonstrations, different demonstrations from Barbara as well. Uh, but don't wait till three o'clock. Say, oh, I'll wait till three o'clock. Remember, on the large collection already, a lot of the stock has gone. A lot of stock has gone on the new one as well. And the plate mate as well. A lot of stock has gone here. Uh, we'll bring you the details up. Now the plate mate is what you're going to need because uh, your A5 plates fit into the middle to where this one, this one just pops out. And then your A5 plates will fit here, that brand new one. And you're in the garden collection as well. Um, beautiful. You're getting a full set of alphabets that you use on the top and on the bottom. And you also get your digits and your numbers as well. Uh, your Ampersands. Uh, that's also on there for £19.99. and pence. All you need is your little tools, your groovy guard and your groovy tabs and you are good to go. Uh, if you're brand, brand new, you might want to go for the starter kit. Uh, let's go look at the little starter kit that we've got there as well. We'll change the details for you. Uh, this is sort of a complete collection because you also get parchment in here. You get your tools in here as well. Uh, you also get your scenery. So you've seen some of the scenery in some of the pictures, like the hills and valleys. And there's the trees that we we're talking about earlier as well. This is your starter kit, your deluxe starter kit, £54.99. pence. Remember, if you're popping this, though, into your basket, this will also be split onto flex flex flexible payments. Flex for six, I couldn't talk, I got all excited. Uh, £27.50, it's already on Flexi already, don't worry about it. 946594 is your item number. Uh, it is, it's good, it's good to go for. It is, you're loving it. Your lemon tree is now approaching limited stock. Lemon tree is now approaching limited stock. £10.99 pence is what we're looking at here. 384243 is your item number. We are a Approaching limited stock on this now is what we've got. Uh, £10.99, 384243 is your item number. Uh, very busy, very busy hour. Um, we've got two minute queues on the phone as well. We've only got a minute left on this show. We'll be seeing different demos at three o'clock. I know. And then we've got clarity stamps on at one as well with m even more demonstrations. Everything is different with clarity. That's why we, that's why we love them. Oh, we do love them. They do. They push them out with all these finished samples we've got as well. Um, if they can't be here, they send it all to us, bless them. There's some amazing videos. So thank you, Barbara, and thank you, Paul. Well, thank you, everyone, at the wonderful world of clarity. Uh, limited stock is what we are now. Check out your basket. Um, if you want it, I'd get quick. Limited stock, we've gone green on screen, which means we've only got 10% left. 
If you do want it, get it while you can. This is brand new today. 384243 is your item number. Um, I don't know either, and I'm not just saying if there's any more stock. I generally, we generally do not know is the answer. Um, so we don't know where they are or if they're in the office. Check out your baskets while you can. I will see you bright and early Monday morning. See you later.